What's going on? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Do we just start with Time Spiral? That's a good one. Oh, Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. 60 months, man. Oh, where does the time go, you know? Yeah, let's go with Time Spiral. That's a strong card. We also have Atraxa. I think Guardian Scale Lord is really, really strong. Pest Infestation is really strong. Let's not, let's do not blue. No, don't like that. I want to set myself up to draw the best cards in the cube. And those are the blue cards, unfortunately. Cryptic Command. Like Cryptic Command. Do I want to pass a Cryptic Command? No, of course not. Palace Jailer is really good. Minsk and Boo is chef's kiss as well. Lorian Revealed is a new is a new gem. Um, I think I just want Cryptic Command. Or a Minskin Boo, you know? I like Minskin Boo. Fuck. Second pick's really tough. This is hard. Stuart says cryptic. All right, I'll do cryptic for a little Stuart. For a little Stuart Little. Um, Yeah, I kind of just want to take the even sky over and keep on the blue train. We're not passing any blue cards, you know? If you want to go Storm, the pick is Mox. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't ever want to do that. Um, Thieving Skydiver. I mean, nothing else really strikes me. Ramming up Excavator is interesting. Especially if we get, like, Fast Bond. Let's take the Excavator. Let's live our, let's live the dreams here. Okay. Got an Emery. Not many artifacts. Mox Diamond is good with Excavator. Let's take Mox Diamond. It's also just very good. Uh, Ketria Triome is two of these colors. Yeah, let's just take the Triome here, I think. It's a blue-green land. Dark Slip Slick Swords does get you one step closer. Uh, Deceiver Exarch, you're a fascinating gentleman, aren't you? This pack is really kind of poops. There's nothing nothing good for our blue-green cards in this pack. Sultai. Sultai. Bant. I mean, Savai Triumph isn't even... It's like the literal three colors that we're not right now. It's kind of great. Um, Renin six might be decent. Let's take a Renin six. We're we're living our best life here, you know. You're not committed to green here. Well, who the hell do you think you're talking to? I like an Elvish Reclaimer. I also like a City of Traitors. This looks like a good job for me. Just follow me. Why do I have this song stuck in my head? Um, I also like Charter Course. I think I like Charter Course better than than Random Elvish Reclaimer. Oh, Treachery? Wow, that's a late Treachery. If you're just going to give that to me, I'll just take it. Sure. Deal.
This looks like good job for me. Hey, just follow me. I like all of these all of these cards we've gotten so far. There's an Inferno Titan. Candelabra did not wheel. Could just do a second seal of removal. Uh, I think that's probably better than random Inferno Titan. Inferno Titan's double red. I don't think we're that heavy red, if, if we're red at all. For a little stew. <laughs> See, if you said that quicker, I would have actually probably picked it for a little stew. It's because I forgot about a little stew. Oh, I like a Dark Depths here. I also like a Sylvan Carry added, though. They always have an answer for the Dark Depths, don't they? We can't get a Vampire Hex Mage. We can discard it and keep getting it back. All right, I'm taking Dark Depths. We're going to try to live the dream. Uh, Terra Sunder is good. Shallow Grave. Also Trinket Mage. Trinket Mage could get some decent stuff. Depths is kind of garbage. Sorry, pal. Okay. I understand. I understand how you're going to be. This is how you're going to be. This is where you want to be when, when Jesus comes back. Oh, wow. Reclaimer came back? Last pick? Sure. That goes and gets a Dark Depths. Depths. Goes and gets a Dark Depths. Oh, a Bayou. A Channel. Oh, no. Look at his eyes widen. Shit. It's gotta be Mana Crypt, but god damn do I love a channel, man. It's... We gotta mix it up! <laughs> we have nothing to go with, channel. Oh, it's Mana Crypt. We have Trinket Mage, too. It's got to be Mana Crypt. Um, Noble Hierarch is interesting. Gaia's Cradle is interesting, especially with Elvish Reclaimer. This card was impressive. I didn't think it would be. There is a Thespian stage. That is true. And that is another piece of our combo. I, I think my my thinking is this is, might come back, whereas like a cradle is probably not. I think it's still better to take the stage. I think there's going to be something that comes back for us here. Oh, fantastic. A third pick time walk. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, we'll take that, I guess. Sure. This is why you be blue, kids. Sail into the west. That is another draw seven that's in our colors. And I really kind of like, I kind of want to get dream halls and or like a Narset. I think it's got to be sale here, right? Okay, so uh, might just be missed a confluence here. Don't care about Mox Opal. Don't care about Garrick. This guy is still hanging out. Um, yeah, I'll just take Mr. Confluence. I like all these cards in our deck for sure. Mana Crypt, Mox Diamond, Dark Dark Depths, 
thespian stage with Elvish Reclaimer. Underground Sea. What are you? You're a forest mountain? Not bad with Ren and Six. Underground Sea doesn't really do anything for us. Could just be Everflowing Chalice as well. Oh, Loam is good for the combo. We already have Ramming Up Ex Excavator. I don't think we need that many ways to, like, get back the combo. Like, if we're having to do it a third time, then maybe, but... Yeah, we do have Ketria. I mean, it might just be Everflowing Chalice here. Oh, the Dream Halls! That's what we wanted! Oh, that's really sick. Um, yeah, now we can draft our last pack and the rest of this pack around Dream Halls. That's disgusting. Loving it. <sighs> Did my internet crash? Are you guys still there? Tell me you're there. Tell me you're there. Wasteland with a ramming up excavator. That's kind of... Oh, crop rotation, though. Shoot. Oh, shooty booties. It's got to be crop rotation, right? Like, I'd rather bring out these guys than have a wasteland. Yeah, we're taking crop rotation, bro. Bro. Escape to the Wilds is actually pretty decent. The problem is we can't Dream Halls any of the cards we get with Escape to the Wilds. I kind of like Utopia Sprawl here. Like, the reason being is it makes blue, whereas Noble, Ignoble Hierarch does not. I'll take a Utopia Sprawl, sure. Oh, we get... Svielen? Svielen? I think Questing Beast is just a fine gentleman. Courser? Sure. These are a lot of late pick, just filler, nice filler cards. Uh, oh, Sower? Sure, I'll take a Sower. All right, we're going to put Dark Depths in the main deck as a spell, and we're going to put Mox as a spell, because both of these need other lands. No, yes, correct. Hello? Hello, my dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Okay, okay. Well. Jesus God. This pack is exceptional. We have Inspired Ultimatum, which I think is great with Dream Halls. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sylvan Library and Time Warp. We already have a Time Walk. Spire Bluff is probably the pick. We got we got a comedian. <laughs> Take Jace for Lil Steuben. Oh, man. Is it Jace? It might be Jace. We we could use some fixing here. I don't think... Bird and Catacombs is probably not... Yeah, we can probably wheel ultimatum, but I think it, it's it's got to be Jace, I think. Wow, that is a mind twist. 
Okay. Um, it's probably just preordain, right? We don't have any way to splash black. Yeah, let's just take preordain here. Uh, any sort of fixing, and I'm gonna just snap it up. I do like Zurin Orb, but I don't think it's great without fast bond. <sighs> Primeval Titan might just be the play. Seeker does get recall and walk. Um, we're definitely gonna cut some things here. We're, we might just cut Ren and Six. And we might just be, I think we're just blue green. That just seems easier. I think we're just taking Primeval Titan here as a fat idiot. We could also take Oracle. Yeah, I want to take Primeval Titan. We already have Corsair. I think Prime Time is a nice, a nice th threat. I think it's. It could be. I don't think we care about Ever Everflowing Chalice either. Could be Palantir, could be Exploration. Every time I see someone play Exploration, I'm completely unimpressed by it. I think it's actually Palantir. I don't think I want to play either, but... Where are my fetches at? I mean, we passed the Verdant, obviously, but I'm, you know... Snapcaster is obviously the pick here when we have Time Walk and Ancestral, so... I mean, I am hoping... Oh, Regrowth? We'll take a Regrowth because we have Time Walk and Ancestral. Uh, God, there's just no lands for us. I'll take a Raging Ravine in case we end up splashing. I don't think we will. Uh, none of these cards are impressive. We'll take the Oddity. So we're not really an Excavator deck. Excavator is just used for Dark Depths and Thespian Stage mostly. But I don't think that's good enough. Especially when we only have one... Like, we don't have a ton of fetches. Like, I think we're actually just fine using, like, rec Reclaimer, Crop Rotation, Dark Depths, Thespian Stage to, like, just go off with that. In fact, I can honestly even... If we get the Inspired Ultimate, I can even see not playing it to just, like... Be, like, a really solid... Blue-green Dream Halls control deck. With Mystic Confluence, Cryptic Command, and... Two draw sevens. Oh, wow. Sylvan Library and Ultimatum came back? Oh, God. <sighs> I mean, with the Dream Halls, I think I have to go with Inspired Ultimatum. That's just... Uh, we're just... We're just living that... That's just the life we're living. Yeah, if you haul and you Alton, you know? I don't think we're a paradoxical outcome deck. We have Mox, which is not beneficial. Reclaimer, Utopia Sprawl, eh, no. Retrofitter Foundry, though. Uh, what are my thoughts on Universes Beyond? I think they're great. I really, really enjoy them. Um, I think they're a cool addition to Magic. I have several Universes Beyond cards in my cubes. Uh, none of these are exciting. All right, we really have to figure out the direction we're going here. This is 26 cards. And I do kind of like Ramunap because of Mox Diamond. 
and crop rotation and reclaimer. Like we have a bunch of cards that really take advantage of an excavator. Maybe questing beast just comes out. Like it's just, it's a good card, but it's just not the, the direction we're going. Also getting that retrofit I found through is nice for trinket mage. That's a late flash. That's a last pick flash. I currently have three cubes built. All right, so shrink this just enough to see everything. Move those like that. Really, cut the depths package. That's weird because I feel like we got it all. Like, because if we cut the depths package, we can also cut reclaimer because we're just losing out on crop rotation and Elvi er, uh, excavator. But that puts us at 23 right here. God, that feels really weird, though. Like, it feels like a really solid. And we ate a third of a dryer sheet. Oh, my God. A third is not a lot. So I guess that's good. I mean, this actually seems pretty good. Like Trinket Mage, also we also have um, Mana Crypt here as well. So Trinket Mage gets Retrofitter, Mana Crypt, and Mox Diamond. That's pretty good. Is it still decent creatures? We have Primeval Titan, Questing Beast, Svialen, Corsair. I don't know. This seems pretty good. I wish we had a Cruel Ultimatum. Or like a Narset. I also wouldn't mind playing Palantir, but... I like having more blue cards because of Dream Halls, obviously. All right, I think we... Uh, I don't want to count this as a... Oh, I guess we're counting Mox Diamond as a land. Still, 16 lands in a Mox Diamond seems rough. <sighs> no to you. No to you. We're definitely not casting that. Uh, so three, four, nine, ten, oof, nine. Oh, we get, we get more though. It's ten, five, six. I think this is correct. I think we just do ten, six and play 41. Cause this is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight with Mox Diamond. Let's make sure everything is relevant. Regrowth is great with time walk. Snapcaster is great with time walk. Chart of course, string of mage, rex age, courser, sail, questing, cryptic chase. Yeah, I mean this deck seems sweet. We can always board into the to the dark depths package. Hey, hey. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like this deck is missing something, even though it has so many. It's so much good stuff. Like, we have Cryptic Command, Treachery, Mystic Confluence, Time Spiral, uh, Time Walk Ancestral. Like, I just feel like we're not putting enough pressure on them. But we shall see. I will play first. Okay, well we got the we got the halls. Okay, we just restarted. For those watching on the internet. All right.
Also, it'd be nice to have Dream Halls and then go uh, tap six. Time Spirals, Dream Halls, untap those six, get 12 mana floating, and then draw seven. That would be cool. Imperial Seal on turn one. Fascinating. I'm fascinated. Okay. Mana Crypt. Oh, and then we got a Rex Age for that? That's nice. Oh, and we got a Rex Age for that? That's nice. What do we kill? We gotta kill the relic here, right? Actually, it might be mana crypts. I don't know. I think taking them off colored sources is probably better. This could also just kill them, so. This also makes two a turn, essentially, as well. Oh yeah, cycle that for an island. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a good one. That's a good island. Oh shoot, between these rounds I was going to I was going to put my clothes in the dryer. I forgot. I'll do it after this round. Oh god, are they doing something broken here? Neon Tokyo, you still there? Katie said, yeah, prob's fine. Naughty dog. <laughs> so, that's good. I relayed your message because I think she left the chat. Wow, they're really going ham here. I guess we just lose this turn? I don't know what's going on. That's what the internet said, and also my dad. Okay, so that's a good amount of sources. Can you tell Umi to just be a, be a better dog? Just be more well-behaved. You little menace. She's like, be like Watson. Watson is also the best dog and also the biggest menace. Are they just going to tendril us for like four? Who knows? Who can say? Yep, they are going to tendril us for four. Okay. And that was the end. That's interesting. That's also interesting. Fascinating. So we're going to have three mana this turn. Hmm. Do we just snap preordain to draw another card? It's very tempting. Oh, Jace. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're keeping both of these. They have one card in hand. And they lost the flip. Their greed is getting to them.
Oh, just a treasure cruise. Treasure, treasure cruise. Hmm. That was a solid play. Unless you drew nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play this. Chase it up. I think we just look at their library and see what they have. They obviously didn't have anything to play right there, so. Cabal Ritual. Uh, no, you can have that. Like, they had an extra three blue from the Lion's Eye last turn. So drawing Cabal Ritual just shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. Well, let's draw three. Put you and you back. Play a land. Do we just play Dream Halls? Discard this to Time Spiral. I don't do I want a time spiral for them? One, two, three, four, five. We can get them to actually maybe we don't time spiral. Maybe we We're definitely gonna dream halls here. Cast uh, choose target player gains five life. Uh, choose me. Choose any target. You. Look at me. I am the combo player now. Turnabout. Targeting me. Tapping my guys? Sure. <laughs> They're like, oh no, we're real close to death. Uh, okay. Interesting. Kind of knew we were going to hit some of these. We can play this, this, this time spiral. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, <laughs> yep, I cast, choose myself, choose you, discard you. Time walk. Are you dead? Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, um Katie said if she's not vomiting or whatever, should be fine to just to just watch her. So uh yeah, so we're playing against Storm. It appears that our Storm deck was was better. Hmm. Yeah, I think none of these cards are, are good against creatures, right? So, like, we actually have a pretty good main deck where there's no, like... I guess we can take out Treachery. I'm very tempted to bring in Dark Depths Thespian Stage combo. Because I don't know if they'll have much to do about it.
Actually, Terra Sunder could be fine, right? We saw a bunch of artifacts. Yeah, that's good. We'll just bring in Terra Sunder. I'm good with that. Oh yeah, snap keep. snap -a -ruski. Do you have clearance to know about the laundry? <laughs> what does that even mean? I gotta do it after this round. I can't do it after the game. You know, you know what I'm saying? On the draw, I don't think we're ancestraling anytime soon. God, cards are so much snappier after you restart, it's wild. Okay, well, boy, oh boy. If we can draw, oh man, if we can draw Mana Crypt and then play Dream Halls into Primeval Titan, that'd be pretty cool. So if we play this, we go down to six, we go up to nine, we go up to 10, we play land. We're only discarding one card. Oh, that's actually, that might be better. I like that better. Yeah, easy discard of forest here. Actually, we might just have some aggro here where we can go questing beast and attack for seven. Draw a card. Oh, we high tide in here. Okay, we might be dead. Hello again? <laughs> Katie has to teach a class in like 30 minutes, so. Sure. So we're just going to sit here and and watch. Watch it go down. I have a man of crypt. I would like to draw my mana crypt. Yeah. I mean, if we draw mana crypt, we're just keeping Mystic Confluence up. There's a lot of mana you got here. Sure. Big snuffs. That was it. That was your turn. Oh boy. What a revolting development that was. Um I mean I'm very tempted to just tear asunder this mana crypt, but I don't think it's really a threat right now. I'd rather just get a clock on him. Especially while well, the Mana Crypt is not killing them, unfortunately. I mean, they went High Tide, Cabal Ritual, Frantic Search, Snuff Out. That was their... That was their big finale. I mean, we're just keeping up Mystic Confluence, right? And then we just probably can't lose. We can't cast Dream we can't cast Mystic Confluence if we play Dream Halls, so. God, they just keep winning the flip. You ever gonna have an answer for this guy or nah? Yep, just keeping keeping the keeping the keeping the confluence up because if they lose one flip oh God. Then they just die next turn, but it's not looking good. They're doing they're doing well for themselves. You know, except for all the actual nothing that they're doing. They're gonna turn about and tap this guy. There it is. They've changed their mind. On second thought. How about now? 
I mean, this doesn't increase the clock, right? Like, that's that seems fine. Like, presuming they're at four, like, they're, they're either going to die on their turn or on our turn. So it's, they don't get an extra draw step. I mean, maybe they do if they, if they would have lost, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. They're going to lose this flip. Finally. And now they're at four. So then they're dead on our turn. But there was no guarantee of that. So if we counter turn about it, it leaves them open to do whatever they want. Shh. I actually don't want you to do this because this gives you double black. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm actually going to, so they got, they have six mana. So I'm actually going to do the triple modes because if they, if this does, if they're like pay six, if this resolves, they go Cabal Ritual. Then they actually do have enough for tendrils, which is obnoxious. Boop, boop. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Are they going to treasure cruise here again? Brain freeze. Us? Targeting themselves. Sure. Okay. There's the tendrils. They have one card in hand. I don't actually know what they could do here. They could, okay, concession. Got it. Got it. All right. Welcome back to round two. In it to win it. Oh, now the numbers are down. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a fluke. Way down. All right, we'll keep them. Give me that Utopia Sprawl, boy. Okay, treachery is good. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, do that main phase library activation. Oh wow, there's a saga. Fascinating. <coughs> Trinket Mage, that's going to be good. Unfortunately, we can't do anything until next turn. I was going to say on the bright side, they can't make a token, but then they went Mox. So I guess they can. In my stupid face. What's the hold up here? You just activate Urza Saga twice, right? Oh, it's Heim Walk and a regrowth. Well, let's go get a little trinky dinky. And we'll get a mana crypt because we don't have the lands for Mox Diamondo. Oh, mega construct. Make another construct. Two three threes mm. off a of land is pretty nuts, man. And a mox, second mox, fantastic. It's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, a third mox, three moxes. Sounds good. No blocks. <clears throat> Loop? No. Cast. Of course you have a fucking counter spell. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. Great opening. Fucking amazing. Oh, no, I don't think so. Ooh. I'll cast all my boxes, but you can't have a single spell, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, great. I guess we're going to play Terra Sunder. The only game where you can lose the lands and mox. Well, I mean, that's it's the only game with those those components. So <laughs> it's like, it's just saying, great, chess is the only game you can lose to pawns. Well, yes, but, uh, you know, they were designed to, to, to be in the game, so. <clears throat> um... Sure, we'll keep this. The question is, do we... <clears throat> do we chart before we... No, I think we can actually... I would actually second turn Time Walk into this. I don't really have a problem with that. Yeah, I, I'm glad you appreciated the hand gestures. Like, usually this wouldn't be impressive, but being able to get this online and start drawing cards from it seems pretty strong. Also, Trinket Mage next turn can go... This actually... Yeah, let's do this. We'll go this. They're going to force of will it. <laughs> so next turn we can go Trinket Mage, get Mox Diamond, play Mox Diamond, discard Island, play other Island chart, of course. We should have, like, three cards in our hand at that point. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. You have to be kidding me. <sighs> of course, you have a Rampaging Raptor. That's that's the exact card that I thought would be in your, in your deck. Shh, fucking amazing. I'm just, like, it's just absolutely mind-numbing how you have, how you have the answer for everything. Um... Yeah, let's go Mox Diamond. I don't think we want to play it, though. Like, I just don't think we want to discard an extra card, especially when we're discarding for Mox Diamond. I mean, we essentially tried to time walk in Sviellen for Fury and Rampaging Raptor. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, they don't have mana drain mana. Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Sick time walk turn. Any of those at five, six, seven, we have eight mana. Absolutely incredible. I'd even be tempted to Dream Halls here just so I can get Primeval Titan out. Okay, let's do that. K 
Ketria Triome. Well, we can keep on digging and also keep up Cryptic Command, which is nice. Oh, actually, bottom you, top you, play you. I actually think we just play Mana Crypt, pass with Cryptic Command up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just play Primeval Titan and give them an extra turn. I think that might be better. Oh, resolves. Fantastic. Uh, forest. Island. <clears throat> sure. You're gonna lightning bolt us. You're lightning bolting primeval titan and then snapping back lightning bolt. Sure. Damage is done. I'm fine with that. Eh, it's fine. <coughs> uh, you can have... I don't want you to have Force of Will. You can have a Braid. Heads. Oh, little Frankie lost the flip. Oh, we can Time Walk again. That's kind of cool. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> we could also Ancestral. <laughs> uh, cast Time Walk. Attack you, attack you. Oh yeah, we're definitely uh, just attacking their face and killing their Karn. Lost the flip twice. Like you do. Dreamhall is actually not that great here. So attack your face, attack your face. And I think we're just going to win the game here, right? Oh, no, we can't. We don't have a time their time walk. But do we have anything we can get back to kill them? Not really. Yeah, we'll just keep our stuff up. That's fine. Like they're at two. Okay. Well, I didn't think I needed treachery before, but now I'm now I'm bringing it back. So, <clears throat> maybe retrofitter foundry is a little too cute here. Yeah, I can see that. And then we wait. All right. All right. It's the final game. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. 
This is nice because we can actually dump out our hand really efficiently and then sail into the west. Oh, fascinating. Mana Crypt. Not a Mana Crypt, but there could be one here. Oh, Regrowth. Hmm. Put on top. Put on bottom. Your move, champ. <clears throat> when I was a kid, we cast Inspiring Ultimatum with Fires of Invention like God intended. That is true. That is how you did it. Oh, give me like a Rex Age or a something. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. We're just going to keep time walking as many time walks as we can. We're taking all the turns here. It, the, the vote does have a an exclamation mark on it. And they do have Force of Will in their deck, so that's good to know. Yep. So they draw two, we draw six. So And they actually chose not to draw any, so that's cool. <clears throat> They're like, I like my hand. This hand is actually insane. So we can go to six and then go to nine. That doesn't feel correct, though. Like, the only hope to do that is if we hit mana vault mana crypt and i don't think that's correct <coughs> they're gonna play rampaging raptor here urza oh terra sunder and rex age that's pretty good hmm Oh, but now they get to keep up Mana Crypt. And by Mana Crypt, I mean Mana Drain. There's too many manas, man. Man. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, let's go green, actually. So we're going to go one. Oh, no, wait, cancel. This guy, we're going to play one. Keeping up a green. Oh, and if they have mana drain, we get to cryptic command it and bounce their construct and kill their talisman. That seems really good. Holy fudge. This is going to be the play. Yep, this is exactly what we're hoping that they did. <clears throat> Counter spell. Turn a permanent. This is backbreaking. Yeah, that felt good. Now they have two cards. We have six cards. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
Oh, I remember when I hit Nicol Bolas and Kroll to main him off of, off of Golas. That was, those were the days, my man. I mean, unfortunately, their Mox Opal still produces blue, but they didn't get their mana drain, and we got to kill two artifacts, so. Dude, every deck has this. Unbelievable. <coughs> People are loving their mirror, their Mirage Mirror. Yes, Mox Bluepool. <laughs> oh, Lord. Give me strength. Um, we actually have a black. One, two, three, four. So we can actually go this. Cast with kicker. Uh, black, green, green, blue. One, two. Just straight murder this idiot. Yeah, you're going to counterspell it? Thank I, I dare you. Oh, you're just going to let him die. Empty Cheon, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're definitely just keeping up Mystic Confluence here. They have two cards and three mana. Now neither of these tap for mana. So I feel like this match is probably over. He said presumptively. Firebolt. Sure. So long, my little friend. Oh, a little primeval titan. <clears throat> Classic. We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Next turn we can play Primeval Titan and keep up Mystic Confluence. You got something else? Burst Lightning, okay. You got one card in your hand. <laughs> Seems good. We do have to keep an eye on this guy. You make a pre out of Sue and me. That's Sue doesn't deserve that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that's fine. You got a Monastery Swift Spear? What is this deck? I thought this deck was a weird combo-y control deck. Are you just going to bounce my god? That's your... Yeah, I mean, I don't care about that... This is weird. I'm very weirded out. Oh, a Trinket Mage. What can you get? Mana Crypt? Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Catch your Triumph. Actually, I might want to leave the Triumph in the deck so we can cycle it. Oh, Courser of Crew Fix. Or <laughs> Questing Beast. I don't know why I said Courser of Crew Fix. Don't ask me questions. I'm just in the zone right now. Mm, sure. Uh, let's draw two and return this guy to its owner's hand. And you have literally one mana up. Yeah, we're definitely not just... Oh, time spiral? <laughs> hmm. Okay, we just win the match. <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty good. All right, well, we're 2-0 currently. Going into the final round. And away we go. Interesting. I will keep this hand for sure. Especially when we got this sweet trinket mage to get us a uh, <clears throat> mana crypt. Oh, like that. Cool. Everyone's got mana crypts.
I was actually going to be like, give me a time walk on turn one. The problem is if we don't hit anything, if we don't hit another land, we actually get kind of, kind of screwed here. If we hit a land and we trinket mage, it's really, really good. I'm wondering if we can just take next turn and do it then. It looks so stupid if we just don't hit anything. Uh, it's not, it's not that it's that good. It's just a very fun card. Yeah, I'm going to pass here. Oh, good. Another blue deck. Wonderful. <clears throat> I mean, I've, I've been enjoying it. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to be playing it if it's not fun, right? Like, it's just, that's silly. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Is he better than all? If I had one more land, we can go Questing Beast or Jace, which would be pretty sweet. Instead, we just have to go little Tringles. I, too, have a Mana Crypt. God, they won two flips in a row. Where's the Justice? Unfortunately, we can't block Carry Zev, and we don't really want to block Ragavan, so. I mean, yeah, when you have Dream Halls and you get to discard, like, Charter Course to play Inspired Ultimatum, draw five cards, discard another blue card to cast Cruel Ultimatum, <clears throat> draw three cards, discard Sail into the West to cast Time Spiral, untap all your lands. Like, yeah, it's a really cool combo enabler that doesn't feel stormy and stupid. Well, we don't have a second. They have two cards in hand. Wow, that's actually great for us. Okay. <clears throat> see, I can see casting Dream Halls here. Pitching Treachery to cast Jace. And then pitching Courser to cast Questing Beast. But that doesn't do enough. They're going to just counter this. They didn't counter it. <clears throat> Fascinating. Oh, interesting. Did I play a land this turn? No. Oh, I like that. Fascinating. So we're going to put a card on top. We're going to put land on top, then dream halls on top of that. And then we're going to go... Oh, no, we didn't want to put the land back. Oh, God. <sighs> Can I undo? We needed both lands. We wanted to pitch one, and then and then we were gonna play Courser. Uh... And we're just gonna play regular land here and play this. Oh, that's frustrating. Because now we just lose our Jace. Well, that's really bad. Sure. That seems that seems worse than just getting rid of Mana Crypt. I actually don't know why you let me. Weird. I don't know why you let me keep Mana Crypt. Yeah, and now we're even Jace locked. Oh my god, that was so bad. I literally was like, okay, we'll keep a land and we got Mox Time and that's two mana so we can play the Courser and then like, no, that's not how that works. One, two, three, four, five, six. However, one thing we can do to make up for it. This one, one, two. Really, your last card is going to be a char to kill your own guy. Okay. You got it. <clears throat> I mean, they have no cards in hand, so I think we're still in good shape here. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well. Mm. 
Yeah, so that's going to get cast. And then we're just going to play probably Questing Beast. <clears throat> they do have a Firebolt in the graveyard, but with the Mana Crypt and Questing Beast, they should be in bad shape. They are at four. Dead on board to Questing Beast. <laughs> Dobbs to the Beast. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, that was satisfying. So what did we see? We saw literal Terra Sunder, a Braid, Firebolt, Burst Lightning maybe? Was that the last game or this game? I don't even know. I wonder if just 4-4 four, four Trample Haste Creatures is, is where we want to be. I think our deck is fine. Sure. I saw Carry Zev. <clears throat> oh, this is nice. Definitely keeping preordained hand. Can we 3 0? -oh. Time walk. No time walk. I don't know if I want either of these, to be honest. <clears throat> um, I'll keep the forest, but that's just so we guaranteed questing beast mana. We have fewer forests than than islands. Carries that again. Suspicious stowaway. Cryptic, or not cryptic? I meant I meant mana. Uh, crypt. So I meant I, I meant crypt, but just not the right crypt. I think we just want to chart here. We have an easy forest to discard, and Mox ends up being pretty good next turn. They're going to get a hit, but they just get to discard, so it's not like... They just get the loot. It's not like they're drawing. They're not netting anything here. We didn't see any counter spells. But we were mistaken. There was, in fact, counter spells. Feel okay if they don't abrade this. Famous last words. Interesting. So this is a situation where if we treachery this, we don't actually get to uh, keep up Mystic Confluence. But I also don't want to just not. Do anything because then they just get to, you know, they're just going to counter this or kill their own guy. Which is it going to be? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they double countered it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, they choose draw, draw. We just had to, they just messed up on the templating. Yep, that's cool. The problem is if we let it flip, or if we don't do anything and keep it Mystic Confluence, then this just gets to flip. And that kind of sucks. Oh, well, that sure does feel okay. Two 
Two turns. Hopefully we can do something cool, right? That's not something cool. But we do kind of want to set up for the next turn, right? I, I think if we bounce this and they have a removal spell, if they catch that, they can actually kill this and prevent us from drawing. So I kind of don't want to do that. I think I just want to draw three here and see if we can start moving. You know, five mana Ancestral Recall. Remand. All right, that's obnoxious. Snapcaster. Oh. Well then. One, two, three, three, four. Because we get to draw six, they get to draw two. Oh, they could just get... Come the fuck on, man. That's infuriating, dude. Solid. <laughs> Still had a factor fiction. Let's put it like this. I'll give you two 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 threats, sure. That's so stupid, dude. Remand for Mystic Confluence, fucking Force of Will for Time Spiral, and you had three blue cards in your hand. Cool. Yep. Wow. Never ends. I mean, there's no evidence that they were stream sniping. Like, they just had the cards in their hand. Like... It's not like they played them in such a way that, like, indicated information. They just had cards in hand and they played them. One, two, three, four, five. Trinket Mage getting nothing. I guess you can get Retrofitter Foundry. Yeah, great. Can I have... So we take one, two, three, four, five, possibly. If they don't have an answer for Trinket Mage, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we do get to kill Rabble Master, which is satisfying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven is what I thought we would be taking. What does that do? Block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. And I'm sure they have a removal spell. Do they even have like a fire bolt in their graveyard? I'm sure. I guess we can make a block or two. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nothing in our graveyard that we can do, right? All 
All right, they're at seven. I guess just bounce this guy. Get Taxium Probe. Sure, you get to see my sweet island. <laughs> sure. Congratulations. Oh, Lord. Okay, so basically they're significantly more dirtily than I thought they were. I wonder if I just want to be more aggressive here and just kind of match their aggression. Take out Dream Halls, Inspired Ultimatum. Take out Cryptic Command. You can bring in Squee, Ren, Olvenwald Oddity. You can bring in Raging Ravine. Two, three. Two of those. None of those. Um, this is 17. What do we take out? We took out Cryptic, Dream Halls, and Inspired. We brought in Oddity, Squee, and Renin Six. All right, let's see if this does anything. Yes. <laughs> yep, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. What are we pitching? We can probably keep sale. Let's pitch Rexage. Um, very tempted to just take Mox Diamond and then go second turn sail into the west. That actually seems really sweet. Or we take Retrofitter and then we just play all three of these next turn. Let's do that. That's a good start, man. This is the best I got. Oh, I see. Uh, heads. Won the flip. Nicely done. Good for me. Okay. I'm gonna remand this, I'm sure. You don't cast you don't cast your mocks when you don't use it unless you're gonna remand it. So that's a good start from them. <laughs> Got a mox. And a mana crypt. Fantastic. So <laughs> the benefit is Minimal. So what do we think they have? They have five mana. We think they have Mystic Confluence. If so, I'm probably going to play Mox Diamond Island and keep up Sail for their turn. Factor fiction. Um, let's give you. I don't care what you take because I'm going to respond to it. So they draw one card, I draw six, so. That's how you want to do it.
Yep. They actually might not switch. What do they get? Goblin Rabble Master and Oof, that's pretty good. Um so they got Rabble Master Thanks. and Mana Drain? Sure. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's fine. Hey, sir, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. So I assume they're going to play Rabble Master and keep up Mana Drain. That seems correct. You know, if they don't keep changing their mind, I guess. There's Rabble Master. Oh, interesting. So, one, two, three, four, five. We have five mana. We know they have mana drain. We can keep up confluence, though. That's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like we do just keep up confluence, which feels bad. God, I'm having mana drains pretty rough. When all our counter spells cost a million. Like anything we cast is just gonna get countered. So maybe we don't cast anything. Yeah, this is fine. We've got time. We've got to get rid of two cards. We can get rid of a forest. And another forest. And we have Ren and Six in hand. So. This taps them out, though. Like we just want to get the mana drain the mana drain out of their hand. Yeah, that's great. So they're gonna take something. I don't think I really care what what they take at this point. Yeah, retrofitter foundry was actually the thing I cared about the least. Now you get five colorless to do nothing with. Yeah, just make it 2-2. Two, two. That's, that's actually the best use of... Because now we actually get to treachery something. Utopia Sprowl. That's pretty good for us. Because untapping with treachery is nice. So let's see. We go to this. Put it on here. Uh, we make a blue. No, we want to make a green. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. We're going to have five mana left over. No, we're going to have more than that, actually.
yeah, let's make it a green. Two, three, four, five. Treachery. Steal this idiot. Two, three, four. Hmm. So then we get to go Elven Old Oddity. No. We'll cast Ren and Six first because it's the, just the easiest to. This feels pretty decent. Uh, attack your face, attack Dak, and attack Dak. So now they have two cards, no Dak Faden. And we get to flip this guy next turn with a Rabble Master up. Feels decent. And they're at six. All right. Well, that's good for us. Five mana. Mystic Confluence, Bounce, Ravel Master, Elvenwald Oddity, and draw a card. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sure. That sucks. Oh, we just win the game. What the hell? That was weird. Wait, what just happened? So I guess they tap out to play Rabble Master. They get to kill Ren and Six, but this guy has haste and trample. So like, I guess they're just in bad shape. Anyway, seems good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure you try out Dream Halls. It's good times. I'll see you next time.